Hello, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and we are here to do a full moon in Leo reading for the 28th of January. So we are approaching it. It is going to be occurring at 2.16 Eastern Time. And this is going to be a collective reading. This is going to be a soulmate reading um, at this period. Now, this is a time for passion. This could be sparking creative pursuits. This could be you having the courage to tell someone how you feel. This could be um, bringing a lot of passion and chemistry into existing relationships. Libidos will be high. Now, whether or not that's a good thing, it's up to you. But whatever this is, it's going to be driving us forward to succeed. There'll be a lot of courage coming forward. So it can be also that we need to keep our egos in check. OK, confidence will be very high, but it will be enabling us to speak what's in our hearts, which is also really important. Now, passion turned on its head can sometimes also be anger, disagreements when things get fiery. OK, so just be careful and make sure that you don't overreact at this time. So, guys, if you are ready, shall we delve in and see what energies come through? Here we go. Hope everyone is well out there. Mm -hmm. Things are good with me. I'm still in Nice, really enjoying it. <laughs> I'm going to be here for the foreseeable future as far as I know. Who knows, right? <laughs> All right, so Archangel Michael, who do we have with us, please, in this full moon in Leo reading for the collective? Thank you. Archangel Azriel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Michael. Mm. Wow. Um, I'm actually hearing the words passion will erupt. He's actually showing me a volcano, molten lava. Okay, now there could be some explosions. I'm hearing explosions of passion, explosions of temper. Okay, all right. Ooh, hold on to your horses, guys. It could be a bit of a fiery reading, okay? All right, <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, let's move in and see what the cards have to say. Hmm, okay, so... All right. Okay. <laughs> so we have water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries. Somebody is going to take a leap of faith and a risk to go and get their wish fulfillment. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Could be very exciting. All right. <laughs> wow. We have very strong Aries energy with the Fool and the Emperor. We also have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, someone here is going to get what they want. I'm hearing not taking no for an answer, not being sidetracked anymore, not being held back. I'm going for it. Wow. OK, we have Virgo shown here. All right. Somebody wants to... Pull someone out of isolation, wants to reconnect with someone that has been holding themselves up, keeping themselves very quiet. Whoever this is, is wanting success. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Whoever this is for, this person has been struggling with connecting with a woman who is very soft very caring, very nurturing, because this person has been having to deal with a very upset other woman. Now, this could be a man making a choice between two women. One woman is going to be very unhappy because this man could be making the decision to move into divorce. OK, Yep, so there's it's interesting because there's going to be a lot of passion that this man feels for this Queen of Cups. Could also be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, woman. But there is an air sign, potentially Aquarius Libra Gemini, or a Virgo who's going to be left in the situation and is going to be very, very angry, okay? 
that he's making this decision. So interesting, passion on one side. Yeah, anger on the other. All right, we've got the three of pentacles. This is going to be a decision to actually build and manifest a connection. We've got the magician. Now with the emperor and the magician, we could be looking at a very strong divine twin connection. Okay, the emperor and the magician are both the energies of the divine masculine. Wow, and look at what is under the deck, the divine feminine. Okay, we have a man here pushing for twin reunion with a woman that he has felt very disconnected from, very separated from, and he is taking control and moving forward. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, if you are ready, let's jump in. Moving the camera down a little bit. All right. Okay. All right, people. So if you're ready, let's jump in. We start with someone here sitting in the energy of the Nine of Cups, absolutely determined to get their wish come true. This is someone who I feel has been analysing the situation that he's been in. I feel I'm connecting with a male here, masculine energy. OK, this is someone who's decided to take a leap of faith and a risk because they want their wish come true. OK, could very well be an Aries with the Emperor and the full energy. But this is someone who is I'm hearing not taking no for an answer. And I'm hearing karmic partner. OK, this is a man who could have had a lot of pushback from a karmic partner who did not want to let this connection go. He's going for it. He's saying, I'm sorry, but this is what I've decided to do. I think we should cut connection. I think we should move into separation, maybe divorce. And she is not happy. She is not happy. In the past, we have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the karmic partner. She's very stable, very grounded. She has maybe a lot of financial stability and she wanted to keep it that way. No, I'm not making any changes. No, I'm not allowing you to disconnect from me. We are sorting the situation out. We're keeping tight hold of this relationship. I'm not allowing you to move away from me. So there was a sense of a very uncomfortable energy between this karmic partner and this emperor. With the six of swords in the reverse, he felt stuck. I cannot move forward to calmer waters. I cannot leave the situation behind. I'm kind of stuck, but I'm stuck feeling very, very uncomfortable. I don't know what to do in the situation. This is an emperor who may well have said, OK, I understand this is a difficult conversation for us to have. It's a difficult situation for us to manage. Let's see how things go. But ultimately, he really wanted to leave the situation. OK. Now, what this man is thinking about is how am I going to manage this financially with the two of pentacles? This is the energy of can I afford to actually disconnect? Am I right in making the decision to do this? This is a man who may also have been considering relocation, maybe to relocate from one area to another. We have a ship and water. This is also a man who I'm getting the energy of feels as if the time has come. You know, the time has run out. The clock has been ticking and he has been juggling, making a decision as to what to do. He's realizing that he's got to take this ship that's coming into harbour. This is the ship that he wants to get onto. He knows it's coming in. He knows he's going to have a very short period of time to make the decision. Do I jump on that ship and sail away? Do I stay where I am? What do I do? Because I feel that time is up. Time is up. I have to make a decision and I've got to do it quickly now. So there's something that's fired this man up. It could be feeling that the object of his affection Maybe the woman that he's in love with is swiftly moving forward, disconnecting from him. If this is a twin connection, he feels this woman's energy pulling back and it's making him very, very nervous. And I think this now is him deciding to take the reins of his life and to move forward, basically to press for this long term relationship to end. Wow. Archangel Michael, when do we have the energy of the emperor? In the immediate future, please. When does that energy come into play? 4th of February, coming out very quickly, to the 18th of February. Okay. 
Um, there could be an Aquarius energy here. I believe 18th of February is Aquarian season, Aquarian energy. But we have the Emperor. He's taking control of his life. He's deciding that he has to make a very big change. And he is having the courage and confidence, right, the full moon in Leo, to make this change. He is feeling as if it's going to be a bit of a risk, but he feels as if this is his wish come true to detach from a difficult situation and to press forward. Now, the person in his environment, and it's interesting that both of these people have got their backs turned, is the energy of Virgo. Now, this man could be trying to disconnect from a Virgo, but the Virgo may have holed herself up, not communicating. I'm not coming out of my cave. I'm not allowing you to do this. No correspondence, therefore no action forward. Or basically the Virgo is sat feeling very isolated and very insecure, knowing that this man is taking action to disconnect from her. The Emperor may also be wanting to connect with a Virgo and move forwards with a Virgo. Because this Virgo he's feeling has their back turned and he may worry that this Virgo soon is going to be moving out of the picture. Again, time is of the essence. He doesn't have a lot of time. We'll clarify what those energies mean in a moment. Now, the Hermit is also um, the energy of deep reflection. Could be a little bit of midlife crisis, could be a little bit of inner inner turmoil as to what the future is going to bring either for the woman that this man is moving forwards towards he could feel that she's ready to make a very big change in her life or this is the karmic partner that he's leaving maybe the pushback is because she doesn't want to be alone she doesn't want to feel disconnected she doesn't want to maybe move into middle age old age by herself maybe she feels that if this man takes the action to disconnect from her if this is the karmic partner She's not going to find anyone else. There's a lot of pushback and she's keeping herself to herself. Okay. In this emperor's fears, conflict, simple as that, five of wands. Conflict, arguments, disagreements, maybe family members saying we disapprove of you doing this. Friends saying we don't think this is the right idea. What are you doing? You two have been together for a long time. Just turmoil, drama. And I feel this man has had enough because I feel in the past he tried to disconnect from people that might have been controlling the situation, telling him what to do, basically perhaps asking him, you know, please, can you reconsider this? Please, could you stay in your karmic relationship? You can patch things up. You can make things OK. He wanted to move away because he felt there was a lot of drama and control from other people. He had to stay in the immediate past because there was too much pressure. Now, I feel this man is ready to accept that pressure. He knows full well that people will try to change his mind. He knows full well that there'll be a lot of people who will disagree with this. He may well be pushed into isolation himself. So he is taking a big risk and he's also going to lose money. But he also feels that time is ticking for him to move forwards towards the woman he really wants to be with. What does he do? He takes action. Wow. In this man's hopes, he hopes to come out of this energy of the Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights, worrying about what to do. Is this the right decision? Is this the right woman for me to move forwards towards? Hoping to come out of this inner turmoil, because I think this has been really difficult for him. Now, the final card is the Six of Wands, Victory and Success. So I feel that this man is going to be successful. It may be that he wins a court case. It may be that the karmic partner may try to um, obtain as much money as possible. Maybe she puts her foot down and says, no, I want the house. I want this amount of money. I want child support. Whatever this is, this is victory and success for him, which may suggest that things are split 50-50. This isn't going to be an easy situation for everyone. For the karmic partner, she is going to be bereft. She's going to be hurt and upset. But I don't feel there's any love left in this relationship. And so she may know in the future that things are going to become easier. But it's not easy for her either. But we have victory and success. There could be a Leo that this man wants to move towards. That is the card of Leo. And he's going to feel as if he has achieved in being able to have the courage to detach and move forward. This hasn't been easy. 
we have clarification. Nine of Wands. This has been a very difficult struggle for him. This could be feeling guilt, feeling remorse, feeling stressed. Maybe there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be affected by this decision. But he's also been through a storm. He's been through a battle. He can't cope with this anymore. And he's decided enough is enough. I had to accept defeat. Now, he could also be struggling because this is the woman he wants to move towards. Queen of Cups. He may be struggling because she's got her back turned to him and he's desperately trying to keep the energy between the two of them connected so that he can move back towards her. She's already turning away and this may be adding to his stress. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. First of all, though, he has to cope with disconnecting from this very upset and angry karmic partner coming through with the energy of the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Arguments, disagreements, accusations, very, very difficult energy to move through. But there will be, with the Six of Pentacles, a fair division of the assets. He will be fair in terms of making sure that everyone who is involved is stable financially. He may leave with very little money, but I think for this man, it's more important that he obtains, first of all, his freedom, that he disconnects from a situation that has drained him, maybe emotionally more than financially. Six of Pentacles is divorce, and we have this Queen of Swords here who is very angry and upset. Okay, wow guys, intense reading, huh? So let's delve in. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Nine of Cups crossed with the energy of the Fool? This is a man who is putting an end to a karmic cycle. He's had enough. He can't carry this anymore. He knows there's going to be financial loss. But he's determined to do this because he feels, wow, that was a ten of cups in the reverse that fell on the floor. Okay, yeah. He's determined to do this because he feels that now is the time. He also feels that, that way, Michael, time is ticking. Yeah, I'm actually hearing a clock ticking. Oh, there's a lot of energy coming through, guys. Wow. Okay, yeah. So with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, this might have been a karmic relationship. That was all about financial security. But there's a cobweb there. This guy doesn't want to be there anymore. This is a man who may have put in hours and hours of work to stabilise a family unit, but he didn't get any emotional fulfilment from that connection. So he's ending it. He's making the decision, I want my wish fulfilled. I need to take a leap of faith and a risk now. Ten of Wands, he's been highly stressed about making this decision. He's also, though, felt he cannot carry this burden any longer on his back. It is time to let it go. Time to let it go. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. He's going to lose a lot of money in doing this, but he's sitting on two tens. Page of Cups, there could be obviously an apology to this karmic partner. Maybe there are children in the mix. But he has made his decision. He's been sat in confusion, trying to find ways of making himself happy to keep himself going. But it hasn't worked. And he now realises the only thing that I feel I really want to do is to move away from this connection. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is the Two of Pentacles? What is the Two of Pentacles? I think this is a man who is needing to decide to speak his truth. This is a man who is accepting defeat in a situation. Yeah. And I think he has been painfully trying to make a decision about what to do. King of Swords. So he's having the courage to speak his truth, say what's in his heart. This is also somebody who may have been speaking to a divorce lawyer to try and balance out the financials. With the Seven of Wands in reverse, he has tried to stand up for this connection, but he's also not been able to carry this weight anymore. He could have had a lot of people around him telling him what to do, you should do this, you should do that. We think this, that and the other. And he's he just can't do this anymore. He's accepted defeat. 
And this is going to be the ending of potentially a long term commitment. The Hierophant in reverse is potentially divorce. This is a man who may also have had issues if there has been a very strong faith involved. OK, this is him losing faith in that connection, but also maybe having issues to do with a very serious situation involving religion. OK, wow. Archangel Michael, what is the emperor? He's taking control. He's decided that he wants to move forward. He's going to be expressing something that he has been keeping maybe to himself for a while. And that is, is that he wants to disconnect from his relationship. Yeah. This is um, the energy that also may relate to a karmic partner wanting to try and resolve the situation. Can we patch things up? Can we sort things out? And this is a man who is now deciding, no, I just want out. I've decided this is what I want to do. And I'm so sorry, but I've made my final decision. He is taking control of the situation. Yeah, he's moving forward. Wow. I think this man has also tried to be blocking his feelings. He might have been numbing himself. But I feel that maybe after trying to work around a, an unhappy marriage, an unhappy situation, he's no longer wanting to do that. He wants his life to move forward. And if it means he has to do it with maybe a lack of financial security, after this ends, then he will do it. Yeah. Two of Wands in reverse, no longer standing at crossroads, no longer. He's making a decision to leave. He's moving in a new direction. He could be relocating with the energy of the moon in reverse. He is releasing the fear in moving forward to take control of the situation. This is also him releasing any secrets that he's kept about what he really wanted, which is divorce. Page of Pentacles, signing divorce papers. Because he doesn't, doesn't feel that this relationship can be patched up. I'm not interested in reconciliation. I'm not interested in what you're offering me. This is a man who has been dumbing down his true feelings, his true passion. He's been covering up his feelings. But this is a man who I think has just felt as if he's lived a flat line for many years. And no more, no longer. Eight of Cups. He's feeling very confident about leaving the past behind. He's felt heartbroken over a situation. Possibly this man fell in love with somebody else a while ago and he never quite got over that person. He's now deciding to take action on his passion. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. I think he was been blocking his heart. He has been refusing to make a situation, choosing to remain blindfolded. No longer he is making that change. Yep, seven of pentacles in reverse. He's losing the money. But with a wheel of fortune, he feels that he's now moving forward onto a destined path. And with the five of pentacles, he no longer wants to feel as if he's left out and isolated. No love in his life. This is also a man who is going to take action, even if it means that financially he loses a lot. All right. Michael, what is the hermit, please? Wow. What is the hermit? I feel this is the energy of the karmic partner, if I'm honest. I feel that this is someone who is deciding not to communicate. This is somebody who is being very difficult. This is somebody who is sitting in heartbreak. So this isn't easy for this karmic partner. She's coming to the realisation this man is not going to change his mind. Yeah, but I feel that she is potentially also in shock that this man does not want to reunite and she might have completely stopped communication altogether which of course is going to make it difficult for him to end the situation with her if there's no communication wow there's no communication she feels as if he can't take action to end the situation these two people may have been kept apart by distance could have been a long distance marriage they could have separated for a while but I feel this karmic partner is not communicating because she doesn't want this to go ahead. She doesn't. She wants to make things difficult for him. But it may well be because she's sat in heartbreak and pain and a little bit of disbelief that this is really happening. 
yeah this is not easy for this karmic partner yeah yeah okay so yes wow so she's holding back she's not communicating with him she's hanging on to the money she doesn't want to let this connection go she's not communicating potentially by email or text she may have blocked him wow no communication whatsoever because she sat in a place of heartbreak she can't believe that her marriage is over she feels as if she's been lied to by this man she feels as if this has come a little bit out of the blue and with the page of swords in reverse she is spying on him to figure out what he may be wanting to do in the future was this because of another woman with the world in reverse again no communication this is also a karmic partner who does not want this marriage to end but she feels as if she's losing a soulmate and she does not want to be single because she's worried about her financial security oh my goodness guys all right archangel michael what do we have pertaining to the six of wands what is that energy please i feel this man is actually going to move forward i think he's going to open up to someone that he's been keeping very quiet about um he wants to reunite with someone he feels a very strong soul connection and he, i don't think he's going to waste any time in moving forwards towards someone that he really wants to be with i think this is a man who's been thinking about this for a long time this is someone that i think he had he could not get off his mind and i think he's decided it's now or never if i don't take action now i'm going to lose this person I'm going to lose this person for good. And I think this man is wanting to offer love to this woman. Could be this water sign, Queen of Cups. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Cars are flying. I think this man just wants to be happy. He wants to be at peace. He wants to feel fulfilled. Let's have a look, see what this is all about, guys. So he knows he's going to have victory and success. So he's very confident um, that he's going to be able to detach from the situation. It may take a while. Knight of Cups, yeah. So I feel that when the court case is over, when he's totally disconnected, we've got the Knight of Cups coming in. This is his energy moving swiftly with love towards someone. Could be a Pisces or a Cancerian, the High Priestess, somebody he may not have been speaking to for quite a while. He wants to reunite. He wants to come back together with this person, the lovers, Gemini energy. He feels this very deep soul connection that he's never quite been able to detach from. Yeah, there's a lot of passion that he feels for this woman. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody very warm, very sensual, very dynamic. She gets things done. She speaks her truth. She's very creative. Wow. And we have a true pair. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Look at how he's looking at her. This is a man who admires this woman, I feel. And we have this couple coming together, maybe after a period of time where they've been apart. The Angel of Healing. This has been angelically guided. This is also Sagittarius energy. The hanging man in reverse. This man is detached. He could have gone through an awakening. Yeah, the angels could have guided this man back to this woman. Four of Wands, 11, 11. This could be two people talking about their future, talking about maybe being able to potentially in the future live together. Ace of Cups. This is a new relationship and there's an awful lot of happiness. Leo energy. My goodness. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles and the Sun in the middle. And we have with the Three of Wands, a man who is turning his back on the past, moving forward, waiting for that ship to come in. Guys, what an incredible reading. My goodness. So 
Let's shift into the Lighted Pathway. This is by Lightworker Tarot and Oracle. We're just going to see what messages come through. What messages come through? Okay. Wow. Passion and attraction. This man has a lot of attraction for this woman. His passions have been ignited. Yeah. Okay. Positive experience coming. So for someone out there, there is going to be a reconciliation. Yeah, this man is going to say, I'm resolving the conflict that I've been experiencing. I had to withdraw emotionally from you to sort this out. Now, this man may also have emotionally withdrawn and he's just about now moving into his heart space. Yeah. Forgiveness is needed. So this man may ask for this karmic partner's forgiveness. He may also ask forgiveness for the woman that he had to leave because he was in a long-term connection. It might be that he knows that this woman was heartbroken and he wants to try and get things back on track. Yeah. This man has opened his heart. So he blocked his heart for quite a while, I think, trying to sort out what he was going to do. But he couldn't cope because this connection between him and the woman he's moving towards was just too powerful. It was too powerful for him to let it go. Yeah. So this may all be happening next month, guys. So keep your eyes and ears open. For those of you who are hoping that someone's going to come back, it could well be happening in the month of February or the month of March. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. If this is your story, do reach out. It's DeborahClaire.com. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings and take care of yourself at this time. Bye now.